Welcome to this Getting Started with SharePoint Framework tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're looking into how we can use an external JavaScript libraries, like in this case, jQuery UI Accordion, in our SharePoint client-side webboard. So we're going to reference the jQuery UI Accordion uh, remotely from CDN, and we're going to use that JavaScript uh, component inside of our web parts to render a nice looking UI uh, in this case. This is January 2020 edition, and I'm using SharePoint Framework 1.10 as part of the recording. So please note, um, if uh, you're watching this video later on, you might be using a newer version of SharePoint Framework, and there might be some changes on the documentation. So please always follow up on the, on the written format um, if there's any adjustments. Um, based on what has been actually recorded. But let's actually move into our Windows 10 machine and start by creating us the folder structure. So I'm going to go to a console. I'm going to go to the uh, code folder where I actually have existing solution structures and tutorials and samples that I've been building uh, in this particular clean machine. Now, in this case, we're going to actually uh, uh, create a uh, jQuery web part folder. And let's actually go to that uh, uh, folder as well. There we go. And let's clean up uh, the console. In here, we're going to then execute Microsoft SharePoint Yeoman Generator. And using the default, pretty much the default settings, uh, we actually set up the basic structure uh, for our web port. Now, What's the solution in jQuery web port? We're going to use a SharePoint online targeted. In this case, uh, we're going to use the current folder because we're already at the jQuery web port folder. Uh, we're going to say no. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to deploy uh, our solution actually on the SharePoint. We're only going to test things in a local workbench. But let's say no for the tenant deployment. Let's say no for the permissions. And we're going to create a web port. And let's call this web port uh, jQuery. And let's give it a, a, a jQuery uh, web part as the description. And let's choose the Node JavaScript framework. And, and this is a really important thing to know, uh, once again, to understand. So the React and Knockout are definitely not the only supported JavaScript frameworks here. Uh, it's just the default structures and templates targeted for that JavaScript. In Microsoft, our default uh, framework, what we use is React. Um, but you can just as well always use the Node JavaScript framework and then reference all of the needed JavaScript, uh, other JavaScript framework files. Like if you want to use Vue JS Angular, uh, like jQuery in this case. Um, scaffolding of the solution will take a while, so let's speed up the video until the scaffolding is fully completed. And there we go. Now the solution structure has been scaffolded. Uh, let's clear up the, the console. And let's actually uh, install the jQuery version 2 here. Um, the version 2 or the later versions have small adjustments and changes. Um, so the version 2 is the one which works uh, given the code which we will be using. Now, the next thing. The next thing uh, is to make sure that we have also the jQuery UI installed. So let's actually do that as well. So let's install npm install jQuery UI. So adding that one in the solution as well. We're not going to do any dev or production switches in this case. Um, there are a few different options and settings which you can actually do for the package JSON file. But let's keep things simple. Uh, just concentrate on using these external JavaScript files. Now, the next thing uh, what we want to do uh, is that we want to actually install the types uh, so uh, we can more easily use this code uh, in our solution. So let's actually install the types for jQuery 2. That's going to take a while to go through and execute. And then we're going to create the types or install the types for jQuery UI as well. Good. So let's actually open up the solution then in Visual Studio Code and have a look on what we actually have here. So first of all, uh, the installations which we did uh, are now visible in the package JSON. So we can actually see the jQuery uh, and jQuery UI being installed here. Um, and that's uh, basically a typical NPM installation process, just a pinpoint. We can always double check um, are those things available or not. Now, let's start by going to the config and config JSON file. So this one, 
is the one which is defining what kind of entry points we have, what is the manifest file. This is giving instructions on how things are being rendered. And one of the settings here is actually the externals. And externals is something which we can use where if we want to reference a JavaScript file externally from CDN and we don't want to bundle that JavaScript file as part of this bundle. So basically the whole solution which we are packaging from this TypeScript solution. So we can actually define that to be the case. So let's actually add uh, two entries here. So in the externals, uh, let's actually uh, include these two entries. So we're not interested of actually including node modules. Uh, and uh, the jQuery UI and the jQuery uh, as part of the bundle. So this way we can reference them from CDN and use them from the CDN URL uh, or URL reference. So let's actually go to the actual source code. Uh, so we go to the source code and web parts and the jQuery web part TS file in here. And let me again fix the, the intention, uh, intention indentation of the code, uh, which is unfortunately slightly confusing uh, for the SharePoint Framework 1.10 uh, release. Now, in here, uh, we can actually obviously change the code and make things actually work properly. So I'm not going to modify the render method yet. But before we do that, let me actually create a one file, which is going to be called uh, my accordion template uh, TS. So let's actually copy that one properly uh, and create the file here. And in this file, I'm going to actually use uh, the code which was included uh, in, the, in the documentation. So this is our accordion template, which is the template HTML, which we're gonna then actually use when we are rendering information uh, together with the accordion functionality from jQuery UI. Good, so we have that one included there. We are exporting that by default uh, called my accordion template. So you can probably guess that we're gonna reference that in our web part, which is definitely the case as well. So let's actually do that. So let's go on the imports and include an import uh, for the template. So there we go, my accordion template being imported from that file, which is right next to this file. Now, we can also uh, import and do additional imports related on jQuery. So we're gonna import jQuery and jQuery UI, uh, and we're gonna use that as part of our code. Now. We're also going to import uh, SP loader, which we're going to use for loading the file from the CDN in our constructor. So let's actually do that. So let's add a constructor to our web part. And there we go. And then we are, we can see a reference to the code jQuery.com 1.11 smoothest jQuery UI CSS. So we are actually up uh, referencing the CSS component uh, from that CDN. So that's something we're, con but we're then going to use as part of the code. Now, let's then include the actual piece of code, uh, which we're going to use in the, the implementation. So let's modify the render method based on the configuration and the settings which we have in the, the documentation. So let's get rid of the existing render method. There we go. And let's actually include oh, uh, the, the provided uh, information on the render methods. And let's have a look on what we're actually doing here. So we are taking the Maya Accordion template and template HTML property from there. Let's have actually one more look over there. My Accordion template and template property. So we're going to use that template structure inside of our web part. Okay, so that's cool. Then uh, Accordion options. We are actually setting the Accordion options and then we're adding in the dot accordion CSS entry. Let's go back on our template. We can actually see this. There we go. There's the accordion template. We are actually setting an accordion options using the jQuery UI and jQuery UI settings. So again, how do we do these things? Um, uh, this is highly dependent on what JavaScript framework you're using and how to reference things. So the documentation for the accordion options and using the jQuery UI options definitely in the jQuery UI documentation, not specifically on SPFX because it is a third party uh, component. But now let's actually test things out. I'm going to save the changes and let me actually do here clean up and let's do call observe. So we can actually double check is it rendering properly. So is it rendering the HTML 
which we had in the my, my uh, accordion template, which is a normal div and h5 f3 using the jQuery UI style. So what's going to happen here is that we're going to start the local workbench, which is actually already running over there. And I can extend that and we can see our jQuery web part and our jQuery rendering using the, the office, sorry, jQuery UI extension is actually working properly as expected. And obviously we could introduce all of this information which is inside of these sections uh, coming from a SharePoint list or a data or whatever is your business logic or and whatever you want to actually render. So this is a, a quite simple way of using the jQuery UI inside of a web part. To be fair, we didn't really package the web part. We didn't yet go through all of the deployments and references and all of that one in this tutorial. But this is a good start on actually using uh, the web part uh, or using the third party uh, extensions as part of the web parts and testing them out also in the local workbench. And that's all we're going to do actually on this tutorial, so making sure that the basics are uh, familiar and there's an additional set of documentation how to reference the external JavaScript files and assets from internet in our official documentation. Thank you. Mm -hmm.